the name of the trainer. I wonder if he's the father of the former welterweight star Rafael Pineda. Now this is the Canchilla that I was looking at that I was so impressed with boxing but I think Segura just as I said got him all off track with that off unorthodox style of his. Down goes Cantilla on a brilliant counter right hand the shot. Some of the way they did Cantilla holding his gloves up as if to say just a flash I'm ready. Segura thinks he has him hurt. And Cantilla's method for this is not going to be to hold or look for space he wants to fight back. Segura had him down, and he was waiting in the neutral corner. They were looking at each other, nodding at each other, motioning to each other. <laughs> Foreman Ron Lyle. Gunfight at the OK Corral. With small guys. Yeah. You, you expect this at a heavyweight brawl with some big, slow heavyweights, but these guys are just swinging haymakers. But our producer Dave Harmon reminds me of Prince Nassim versus Kevin Kelly. The shootout in Madison Square Garden. A little more loop to the punches, but you're right, a lot of similarity. Little guys not playing games. Good body shot by Kenchila. Jay Nady wants them to keep it up. That would seem to be more on the bat line to me, which is really just on the top of the cup. Straight right hand by Kenchila countering Segura. Swinging power, power shot duel between Giovanni Segura and right. Cesar Canchila. So Segura looks like he's kind of winded right now. And this is where Canchila should take it to him a little bit because he's probably not used to anyone taking anything to him. Now do your best, guys, because I've got a hunch this is going to be on YouTube for some time <laughs> to come. Wake up! Wake up! Wake up, come on. You're backing up too much. You're backing up too much. Way too much. Stay still and go to the side. Step to the side. Jab! Use your jab, son. Relax. Use your jab. Use your jab and you can take off the, his power shots. Use the combination. It's only a matter of time. It's only a matter of time. Here you see Segura land a similar shot to what he did the first round. That right, right hook that come where you don't even see it. It's like another person on the side of you throwing a punch. They landed them not even simultaneously. Kenchila landed his first, but Segura landed with more authority. If, if Kenchila would fight a smart fight now, he would go right inside with short punches and put pressure on Segura. Segura, I don't think, would hold up well under pressure, but. Shigur has to have looping room for his punches, so he should just walk in with his hands up high and just walk him down, as we say, with little short punches, and he would stop Shigur in a few rounds. But winging out there at the distance that they're winging at, anything could happen from either one of them. Well, you heard Pineda, the trainer, asking Canchila to go forward, quit backing up, and start picking Segura apart. Exactly what you're suggesting, in effect, Emmanuel. Combi box numbers in the second round, 15 out of 70 for Segura and 15 out of 59 for Canchila. Again, one jab was landed in the round. Segura has to have punch of room. Canchila can punch with shorter punches, but he's fighting at the wrong distance, right at the zone where it's a give and take type fighter. But if he could shorten it up, he would have a big advantage right Segura there. Segura may Perfect well example. be the least conventional fighter I've ever seen with a record like 19 and up. Yeah, but right now, Canchila just keeps going forward with those tight punches. He'll win this fight very easy. Easy, you think? I won't say easy, but he'll win it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I believe, I believe that if, if I had to be a betting guy, I would bet on him at this stage. That, body shot by Kenchila. That this fight might be decided on the ability to take a shot, which so far looks like it favors uh, Segura. Segura, yes. Segura's been taking a much better punch. On 
the other hand, he doesn't seem to be getting out of the way of many of them. I think, I think Emmanuel's point is quite correct. If they ever settled down and boxed, Ken Sheila might have the advantages. But also, Ken Sheila seemed like he had a lot of anxiety and nervousness. He wasn't comfortable. I probably the first time he's felt maybe here. And uh, Segura seems to be very comfortable here, I guess. Oh, it's the first time ever out of Colombia. Oh, it's a big difference. First time in the United States. That's so. it. Right hook again at wide loop and shot. Good body shots by Kenchila. And Segura actually backs off, which is rare for him. <laughs> this has been Kenchila's round as he has steadied his feet, steadied his approach, and landed punches in combination. That's where you need to keep his hands right in that position when he gets in close. Not Lucas, keep his hands up above his head right there and punch with short punches. In round three, you see the formula by which Cesar Canchila could in fact, as Emmanuel Stewart says, win the fight. As he controls something that becomes a little more like a boxing match. Don't throw those looping punches so much. When you hit him three times, he moves back, then press him. Don't respect him. You understand me, don't you? Don't respect him. Forget about that, forget about that. Come on, press him. Work him with the jab, press him with the jab. And don't be desperate, relax. Relax and work the body, work the body also. Don't just throw it to the top, work to the body. It's not just one bomb. <laughs> Slowly, we're gonna win. Copy box numbers in round three, and they tell the story. Cesar Canchila, 24 out of 70, much more under control. 21 of 58 power shots. Segura, 13 of 59. Harold, how do you have it through three? Look at Jim, two rounds to one. 29, 27, Giovanni Segura. Jim, round one, I thought Segura won with the looping shots in the York with style. Round two, he certainly won and gets an extra point for the knockdown. But in round three, Cesar Canchilla just started throwing his punches straight, catching Giovanni Segura coming in. Segura still looking to loop those shots wide. And Canchilla had a very, very good third round. Two to one, Segura. Until the end of the round, where I want to point out that Segura really came on, especially with the body work, both hands. Which could have been a thought process for him after he had been outboxed upstairs early in the round. To finish the round with another approach going to the body shows the, the natural acuity for the fight game that has gotten Segura this far. Yeah. Now, Conchila is 19 and 0, pretty aggressive. much playing it by ear. Go ahead. Conchila seems to be a little bit more comfortable with the whole situation now. And he's a little bit more aggressive. I think the jitters is gone now that he had earlier. But he's still got to watch for those wide looping shots. So instead of pulling back, he should go to the inside. Well, this is what his trainer has told him several times. Go forward. Step inside of those looping shots. You be the boss. Segura. But obviously, Segura's got some pop. Yep, he's got pop, and, he, and he's very, very, very determined guy. You can see he comes at you with some angle that you don't even realize whether he's right handed or left handed. Just, he's coming at you. Both fighters are showing this, but Segura really shows self belief. Yeah. You have a sense that he just believes he's the better guy. The same thing that you would feel when you interviewed him. You can see it coming through. Lots of confidence in yourself. Stop! Segura fights in sneakers rather than traditional basketball shoes, uh, Emmanuel. And we're seeing more and more of that and as I, fighters go for more athletic styles. And I don't like that. Like, I think you need to real good solid ankle support. You know, if you compare it to other sports, you know, that's very similar to someone that, to me that says wrestling or something. You need the ankle support that you get from the real true boxing shoes. 
Is there a difference in the soles as well? Well, also it's heavier. It's much heavier shoes. The shoes that he's wearing are much heavier. You know, it's interesting. I've been talking to Segura. He doesn't get hit too much himself. He has his own way of punching with his head down, but he very seldom gets hit clean. You've got to close up your guard. Close up your guard. Don't open up so much. And use the jab. Use the jab, Ganchila. And then the combinations. Drink it, drink it. Breathe now. Those What's are Segura's athletic shoes. Sneakers, in effect. Not traditional boxing shoes. More combinations. More